Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the AM Silver Bullet for Thursday, May 9th. Now if you go to ictkraken.com, you can get all four of our indicators for one low price, $29 a month. Right now you get the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro, the Kraken Visuals, the Kraken Correlation, and the Kraken Volume Profile. Soon, within the next week or two, depending on when the developer gets them done, I will be adding the Kraken PO3 multiplier and Kraken time cycles. Okay, but either way, you'll get all of those all for the same low monthly price, and then any indicator I add on the future will still be put into that bundle, so it's just $29 a month. Okay, Kraken volume profile on, and I have the Kraken correlation down here. So, first thing I want to do is I want to add in the Kraken Silver Bullet Pro. And you see all these lines, those are all liquidity levels, buy side and sell side of all the different sessions, okay? So let's go through this. And yes, I got I got emailed a question that said, hey, when you use Kraken Time Cycles, how does it work with Silver Bullet Pro? They work, they use them both at the same time. They both complement each other really well. All right, so Asia high and low obviously been taken, so let's remove that. London high and London low has been taken. Let's remove that. The kill zone we always leave because it's just now starting 10 o'clock. And that's when it ends. It ends from 7 to 10. So at 10.01, the kill zone is perfect to look for. And just as a tip, when I look in here, if if, if we're in this range, chances are everything in it has been uh, liquidated already. So I'm looking for the high and the low, and right now it's the kill zone, so I know that the PM is gone, New York at lunch is gone, AM session's not even in this range, so it's somewhere below here, or maybe even above there, it doesn't matter. Uh, so New York lunch is gone, PM session's gone. So literally, only thing we have here is kill zones. We're in this range, right? That's where we're at. That is right like that, okay? All right, so let's... Let's pull a fab from this high to here, right? Let's see where we're at. Now you can pull it from this high here. That's valid too. I'll leave it to that high too. Uh, there was an entry I got in over here, live down here. I was aiming for these lows, so it's close. That was, that was the trade right there. Okay. Easy. This swept liquidity. You have an order block, breaker block here as well. This is a breaker block too. Price comes through, you can take any of these trades, aim for these lows or this low or, you know, whatever. So that's what I did. I just aimed for it because before, uh, it was right after 9.30. So I figured Judas swing up and then down. That's fine. Took out, aim out a lot of liquidity targets. Uh, failed swings down here, so I liked it. Uh, I just did a quick one to two, 40 points. That was an easy trade. Okay, so this is this now starts the the silver bullet hour so we could retrace up to here so let's just see what happens here okay All right, so here's how I like trading. I don't, I don't like that huge wick, but here's how I like trading optimal trade entry. I don't just take a, because it, it comes, I used to just set limit orders here. Like I'm going to set a limit here and have my stop up here and just, you know, let it come and hit me and take me in and, and get me out of the trade. The problem is I kept having my limit there and price just kept on going past. It didn't stop and just took me out. And so once you get enough of those under your belt, you're going to be like, hey, listen, I want to see price respect that level. Give me an order block, which it just did. And it comes back in there, I'll take a trade. Show me something here. You don't just wick in, right? Uh, some trade, some people may like to get the limit order placed there and do that. That's fine for me. I, I've taken too many losses like that. And when it barely takes me out and then goes in my direction. So I won't do that. All right, there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell one. I'm just going to sell one. We're going to put a 
So right there. Let's just aim for one or two. Let's see what happens here. Let's, let's do this like this. Right there. Another 800 bucks. Okay. Boom, done. Barely, but you saw it take me out. All right, so here I can load this up. Quick 800 bucks in five minutes. Awesome. All right. Now, let's see how, if this is going to reverse down here, how far it would go. So let's pull a fib from this one to this one. Let's remove the first fib. Okay, so we're in optimal trade entry. If it's going to reverse and go back up higher, aim for these now, these failed swings all up here, we're going to want to see a reaction down here. I need a strong reaction. Come on. Displacement. All right, that should be displacement. Okay. All right, so what do you see? Well, I see this little sweep of liquidity here, this little turtle soup here. I see a breaker block that's right here. This order block never got, it didn't, I don't like it because it didn't create a fair value gap immediately. It's way up here. So I don't really like it. This would be my order block, which is the same as a breaker almost. So I'm just going to use the breaker. Yes, you have an inversion right here and you have a fair value gap right here. Okay. I want to see a retracement into this fair value, this breaker block, and I will take my trade. Uh, I'm just going to mark those out so you guys see, know what I'm talking about here. So you guys see it. Okay, let's go with it. This is an inversion. Okay, and then let's... I don't like this. Fair value gap right here. I don't like it. Because it never really left it, right? I, I'm not a huge fan. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove it. It's there, but just know that it's there. But I'm going to remove it because I don't really like it. I want to see it hit my purple breaker block. All right, buy one. Yep. That's where I got to buy. Good old. Uh, all right, so it's a 15 stop. Let's go with 16 to go underneath the, the breaker block. All right, let's go still, still stop right here. Targeting this up here. Why am I targeting that? That's the kill zone. I'm aiming for this high. That's what I'm aiming for. Let's lower this. We don't need this at the moment. This is no divergence because these are both higher, so I can shrink this. Make this bigger for you all to see. Okay, so let's just go. All right. So, oof. Okay, if it would have closed below consequent encroachment, I probably, I probably would have exited my trade. And the reason being is because if it closes that consequent encroachment, I don't need it to take me all the way out. If I, I can allow for the wick, but I don't want to see it close below consequent encroachment on my breaker block. So, I like green candles good. It's a volume candle. That means it's very powerful. A lot of, lot of orders in that thing. Okay, I'm liking that. Take out this swing high here. I'm going to go break even. All right, it just did, so I'm going to break even. But I'll probably go to the middle of this New York Midnight Open. How's that? All right, let's, let's see here. Ooh, like that, like another green candle, like another green candle. All right, took out even took out a lot of swing highs here, so I'm gonna bring my stop up right at two hundred dollars. Why did I do that? Well, because it's taking out liquidity, it may not want all this liquidity here. It could come back up and reverse. Remember, we had optimal trade entry here. Let me turn this one on. So, you know, it's above it, which means it should go higher. But it did just take out all this liquidity here. So just to protect my capital, I'm going, moving my stop up a little bit. If it comes back out, I got $200. That's fine. All 
All right, then at that point, I'm moving my stop way up here. Why? Because I'm at a thousand dollars. I know I'm not going to give up eight hundred dollars to let it come up here for a thousand thirty is where it's at, and the difference between the max is is sixty five bucks. So sixty five dollars, I'm going to risk eight hundred. I don't think so. Ideally, realistically, I'm probably moving this like way up here to like a thousand. And I'm letting it play out. So I'll put it right here, just what I probably do right there. And let take it take me out. Don't know where it took me out. It may have gone down. It did that that don't know. It opened down here. Sorry, it opened here, went up, and then came down, I believe. I don't know. Either way, that's our trade right there. Let's move this like this. Okay, and let's see how the rest of the hour plays out. All right. Okay, let's recap. Now, before the 10 o'clock silver bullet hour, this is a trade that I took earlier that was we came up, we took liquidity out, a bunch of liquidity out here. We had a breaker block form. 9.30 opened, it came up. And then dropped. Once it dropped below this breaker block, you had a a order block here with this uh, 9:30 candle. So when we entered here, I entered in here, and then I just aimed for two to one, so 40 points. And my my stop was above this high. Could have aimed for much more. Didn't I, you know? I gave up a lot of it on this trade, but that was before the that was a 9:30 opening trade. 10 o'clock, silver bullet came, and we started retracing. We pulled our FIB from high to low. This was optimal trade entry, so we marked out our order block. We don't just like taking, a, just because it goes to optimal trade entry, taking a limit order, uh, because it could just go roll right on past your uh, uh, optimal trade entry. So we wanted to see a reaction. We got that. It, it, it formed an order block, came up. We entered in our order block, aimed for one to two. We got it right here. It did take us out, and then it would have taken us out here anyway. We did take us out. We didn't know if it was going to go here because we weren't sure. Uh, we pulled our, our fib from here to here, and then this was optimal trade entry. So it's always good to have a target, take a partial off, whatever, around optimal trade entry because you never know how it's going to react. Okay, I'm sorry I'm getting a lot of people texting me at the moment. If you hear that in the background, I apologize. So that was our first trade uh, for this number here. I uh, got another 40 points. So if you keep a track, it's 80 points for the day, but only 40 counted on here. Okay. Then we saw a turtle soup right here. This is a turtle soup. We started going up. We had left behind a breaker block, an inversion fair value gap, and a fair value gap. We took it off the breaker, you know, had a breaker with a 16 point stop. We targeted the highs up here. Now, as price came up and as it took out the first swing high here, right here, we, we went to break even. Then when it took out this high here, I moved my stop up a little bit, like to 200 bucks. Why did I do that? Because this is a major swing point, and so it could have very easily came up here, which was optimal trade entry area uh, from the original high right up in here, and it could have just started retracing. This could have just been just a big, a big, a big M, basically, and go down. So I wanted to move my stop up, capitalize a little bit more. As it kept going higher and it went all the way up to here, I moved my stops way close because it was already at $1,000. I wasn't going to give up uh, several hundred dollars for $60, which was the difference between my TP and whatever it was. So we put it in. I don't know if I got taken out before or after. It doesn't matter. That was our trade, entering the New York kill zone. And we would have got it regardless right, right, right there. So those are your two AM silver bullet trades and a AM uh, 9.30 opening trade for Thursday, May 9th. Using the Kraken suite of indicators that you can get at ictkraken.com.